Okay, we want to pick a power supply for our DP67DE motherboard. So we go to Intel site, look up our motherboard, look up Tech Prod Spec 02 for the DP67DE. <laughs> They'll find a wealth of information on your board at Intel and you want the technical product specifications. In there they list what they recommend for power for your board. For this particular board they say that if you're going to have one optical drive, one gig of RAM, one video card, 460 watts minimum. They also tell you what current draws they want you to be able to pull for the different voltages 3.35 here's a couple of uh, 12 volt uh, connectors negative uh, 12 and 5 volt SB which is standby and that they are picky about they want you to make sure that's sufficient well I selected this V600 and on the back they give you all of the amperages at max amperages at the different voltages and you will discover uh, Intel wants 22 that's 24 they want 20 that's uh, 24 so um, everything is uh, you know over what they recommend in the technical product specifications so here is that power supply with a confusing array of cables coming out of it uh, there are a whole bunch of like old-fashioned connectors. We have three good old-fashioned connectors and on the end a little floppy disk drive connector. We're not putting one in this machine. It'll be the first one I built without a floppy disk drive, without an A drive. Here are two serial ATA power connectors. We're going to need one for the hard drive, one for the optical drive. Here are 12 volt power connectors. Now the processor is going to require this little four pin jobby to go in there uh, on the board. In fact, you have sensing for that so the power supply won't turn on if it's not, uh, this isn't connected to the motherboard as well as the main power jack being connected. Uh, I suspected if I plugged in this power supply and turned it on without it being connected to the motherboard, it would do nothing. So I tried that and that is what happened. I plugged it in and turned it on, all disconnected, and it did nothing. So no way to test your power supply like that. Here's a little 12 volt supply that is six pins. This is for a PCI Express bus something. <laughs> Probably plugs into the back of a high power video card or something. Here is a 20 pin connector and this is fine. This board in the tech prod spec says it'll take 20 or 24 pin connector but we have the other four pins right here and two arrows showing us that this just kind of snaps together and then you plug it into the board and that's about it for the power supply.